disrespect to Utah, but I hated it here. I didn't fit in here. I felt so out of place, and I was just like, I cannot wait to get out of this place and never look back. When my band got signed, we hit the road. I think we did like two years of touring like that. Our longest break was 10 days. But in doing so, I'd get back home, and those blinders were off, and I was realizing the beauty of all of it. For me, it really took leaving to appreciate what I had here. And now I've never been more proud of where I'm from because I can just be me and lay low and it's a good place to spend my time off and have some fun. Skateboarding and music were my life, literally. I didn't have girlfriends, I didn't, like, my group of friends were small. I was just like, two things I had going for me. And I really thought I was gonna be this professional skater, but again, music just took over more and more and became an outlet for so much more. And so, in time, they kind of switched places and, and drumming became the priority and just music in general. And then it kind of became like, well, skateboarding is something I'll do when I have time outside of music. So now I just need to follow through. 10 years ago or so, when I, I bought this house, I had room to put a ramp in, and to me it's like the little kid dream come true, where I've got that mini ramp just like I always wanted in the privacy of my backyard, where I can, <laughs> we can be as good or bad as we want and not have anyone watching, you know? So it's a dream come true. I think most people that gravitate toward music are people that want to be self-employed. We don't like rules. We don't like to be told what we have to do. So to me, it's a matter of like, well, let's keep things in perspective. Let's continue with hobbies. Let's find new hobbies and time off. And then by doing that, it keeps drumming as a hobby for me. And it's more like what I do with different groups of friends. All right, for real this time. You got it, Pete. Ah! There we go. All right, finally. That's how 39-year-olds try to relearn the shit they did when they were 17. It only takes an hour or so. Kid at heart for life. <laughs> so by doing all these other activities, it just takes things off that revolving around just simply drums. And you know, so I dabble in things that maybe I'm not very good at, like hockey. <laughs> When I was like a teenager, I loved the idea of playing hockey. I wanted to play hockey for a minute. I just could never afford to play it or even try it. And so now that I was in an opportunity where I could do that, it kind of took over and became really fun. And I grab all my friends that have never played these sports, get them into it. We all go play and we all just go suck at it together and have a blast. BGAC! BGAC! Let's get it, boys and girls. Yeah. Have fun. I'm a huge hockey poser. I'll put that out right now. I'm just a bender, but my girlfriend, bless her heart, bought me some hockey skates a couple years back. And like anything that happens with me, I try something I like and get that little buzz from it, and I'm hooked. Yeah, Ross! Yeah! <laughs> Great job. Yo, yo, it's gonna get chippy. <laughs> it's like, ooh, I gotta, it's rowdy, it's rough, I like this. <laughs> what? I don't know, played hockey. What did I do? Rough! <laughs> I'm sorry, I thought I signed up for hockey. My bad, Ruff! I thought the pads and stick and puck meant hockey. This is why I play drums. Because when I get mad, the people applaud. I don't get sent into a fucking box. <laughs> Whatever. That was fun. Hockey! 
sports! So much of it's like these parallels to drumming. For me, it's kind of an outlet while I'm off tour, something to give me that similar adrenaline, as well as just, if I don't stay active and I'm just home sitting here, I'm never going to be able to hold up my conditioning to play on the road. Y'all oh, looking good. Great job. Great job, Tony. Good job, bud. Woo! Sports. I'm not good at them, but they're fun. <laughs> I started bands and jamming with other, you know, like-minded people that I met. And then it gave me this outlet of something I could hit and like let out all this rage and inner darkness. It slowly took over and that high of performing in front of a crowd that I was always terrified of, that became like my drug addiction. The first you know, chunk of life until I was in my early 20s was pretty rough. But I think with the struggles, I can't really fail from there. To me, I managed to find empowerment in that, where it's like, no, it's not over from here. This is the jumping off point, like, because I'm not afraid of anything. By feeling those lows, I can appreciate the highs. You know what I mean? It's like, if I were to just roll through life monotone, I wouldn't have the passion and love I do for things. There's some part of me that I just can't seem to dabble in things. I really dive in deep. It's almost like I'm making up for lost time. Here we go. So if I'm into something, I just go for it head first. Love going to the sand dunes with my girlfriend and my brothers always kept riding. And you know, living in Utah, that's such a part of the culture here is these like outdoor recreational toys and three wheelers in the eighties and four wheelers and now these side by sides and it's rad. It's something that our family is done forever. So getting like these ATVs and stuff, it's still kind of my, like a happy place to get out there and just play in the sand. It looks like something straight out of Star Wars where it's just these rolling sand dunes for miles and miles. Again, it's that thing I like where there's no rules, there's no tracks you have to stick to. You just go wherever you want. You're free to just explore and it's awesome. You're just, you and nature, it's, it's a beautiful, Feeling, you know. Yo, let's head like there and back into those dunes and make our way toward the sun. All right, well, let's roll. Me being the kind of person I am, it's like I'll rest when I'm dead. And to me, that's where my passion toward the things I do comes from, because I get fired up. And I'm just like, yo, I'm alive. My heart's still beating. So where do we go from here? Let's make it fun, you know? Like, let's push it. Let's see what we can do, you know? I'm humbled and I'm grateful for every day that I get to do what I love. And I just always want to keep fighting for something new. You know, and so I'm gonna just keep fighting.